Than, uh, the challenges that the country is facing in terms of uh, outbreak of uh, diseases, especially the lifestyle diseases. Uh, and that the reason why we are also here is because of that. Uh, we do have uh, various uh, diseases that uh, we just uh, talked about, especially transboundary animal diseases, like uh, food and uh, mouth disease, uh, which is really a big challenge to our livestock sector. And uh, various uh, counties that have experienced the outbreaks of such diseases. Now, I can say that uh, the challenge that uh, we have is a lack of vaccinations, coordinated vaccinations. And in this, uh, as a ministry and the State Department for Livestock, we have now held various meetings with the, all the counties and we've agreed that uh, we are going to have a joint uh, vaccinations program across the, the counties and uh, we are segmenting the counties into various blocks, uh, uh, economic blocks, so that they conduct their vaccinations uh, jointly. Uh, this is one of uh, the areas that we are focusing and uh, starting from uh, the next financial year. Uh, all counties are now going to have vaccination programs jointly. Uh, the other challenge that we've been having is uh, the supply of uh, FMD vaccines from our Kenya Veterinary Vaccine Institute. Uh, we've requested the institute management to up uh, the production so that uh, we conduct a frequent uh, vaccinations program. Uh, and I think uh, they have, uh, we have supported them to modernize and, and we're going to have uh, enough vaccines in the country. So this challenge of, of disease control, we are embarking on controlling it through uh, production of vaccines in the country itself and then now rolling out the joint vaccination program. We've had various uh, programs that have supported uh, vaccination, so like the resilience program, but it does not cover all the counties. So what we're going to do now is that every program of uh, livestock must have the component of disease control. Uh, that way uh, we'll be able to make sure that we eradicate these diseases. One of the challenges of COVID, we have all experienced COVID now for the last uh, one, one, and, one and a half years now. Uh, and uh, as a sector, we've tried to cope uh, with the COVID uh, protocols to ensure that we first of all comply with the COVID protocols. Uh, we were affected by COVID because of the lockdowns across the world because we were not able to get our vaccines, uh, raw materials to be delivered into the country. So part of it is because we didn't have the raw materials uh, to produce vaccines. So we had a big, big challenge last year because there was a complete lockdown across the world. Uh, across the globe and, and therefore we're also affected. So having complied with the COVID protocols now and um, easing of these uh, movements uh, across the world, we are going to have uh, uh, raw materials delivered to the country and therefore we'll continue supplying vaccines to our farmers. Uh, of course, uh, because of the COVID uh, protocols also, grouping farmers for vaccination program did not take place last year so much uh, because uh, that was one of the area that uh, we saw a big challenge, but uh, having uh, followed now the COVID protocols guided by the Minister of Health, so we now know how to organize these farmers <coughs> when they come together uh, to make sure that uh, they are able to, to, to do vaccination. Also, we closed so much of our markets uh, last year because of the COVID uh, situation, uh, but we've worked very closely with the counties uh, where they are now able to guide the, the traders on how to comply with the COVID uh, protocols when, uh, they are, they are, they are, they are, when they are selling their stock. So all this uh, we, put it, we put in place uh, to make sure that the uh, livestock sector continues uh, to, to, to contribute to the economy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Would you get uh, us to the uh, auto